Okay. All so right. we're recording now. We're recording. All right. So first thing you want to do is simplify anything you can. If I could simplify the stuff that was underneath the radical, I would. But 5 twelfths isn't doing anything. Then we simplify the top if we can. But 5's not going to do anything, right? If we tree him, that's just a 1 and a 5. And you probably can't see that, right? Oh, I can see it. Oh, you can see the 1 and the 5? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to write with this guy just in case. So okay, no problem. The 1 and the 5's not Oh, that is actually better. All right. So he's not going anywhere, but he will simplify. We'll just tree him. That's a 2 and a 6 and a 2 and a 3. So there's my group of 2. And so that's going to become uh, 2 on the outside and the root 3 on the inside. And this guy here is just staying a root 5. Now, we would be done, except some stupid person said we're not allowed to have radicals in the denominator. So I have to get rid of that. I need to multiply both the top and bottom by a root 3. And what that does is the top will now give me root 15 and the bottom is to root 9 but I know that root 9 will tree to a 3 and a 3 mm -hmm. so that's just 2 times 3 on the bottom and the top's just staying root 15 and so now 2 times 3 is just 6 top is a root 15 no more radicals on the bottom that's as simplified as it gets I'm done. Okay. Very good. Mm-hmm.